Hello Libra, welcome to my channel. My name is Victoria. This is Radiant Moon Tarot. Today we're bringing forth messages from spirit for you. This is whatever spirit angels, guides want you to know right now. And uh, these may be messages of motivation, highlighting some information for you, giving you some advice. This is a general read, so not every message will resonate with all of you. Uh, you may also want to check out your Moon Rising and Venus sign readings as well. If you find this one doesn't resonate, one of those may hit home for you. So let's see what we've got for messages for you guys. Messages for Libra, please. Thank you very much. We have Harmony coming out. Oh, Libra, that should really hit home with you. Okay, you like a little bit of harmony, some balance in your life. When we get this particular card, this certainly represents a uh, spirit wanting to wanting you to really focus and pay attention on where things may be out of alignment for you. Okay, um, are you spending too much time at work, not enough time at home? Are you spending too much time alone and not enough time with other people? Um, we do fall into that little habit every once in a while. Um, this could be that you are spending a little bit too much time um, helping other people and doing things for them and not focusing on you. So find that little extra balance in your life here. But Harmony, this is also ca calling in harmony and balance into your world here as well. And if you've been feeling a little bit out of sorts lately, okay, then this is bringing in this powerful energy for you to restore that balance in your world and make you feel like you've got both feet on the ground and not just one. As I create, I will share harmony divine with love and care. A little bit of an affirmation there for you, casting that wonderful spell to bring some harmony into your world, into your relationships, into your workplace, or just the energy within you. Connect with spirit, okay, for a little bit of help, guidance, and support. And uh, really trust your intuition and you'll know kind of what you need to uh, switch up a little bit there. So let's see what else we've got for you. <clears throat> and we have summer. Now the summer energy is filled with, uh, you know, with positive vibes, with a lot of positive energy, that go-getter energy. Um, it's very uh, yang, right? Very like the sun. Okay. And this is a call to action. So when we take positive steps forward or when we take some action somewhere in our world, we feel like we're doing something. We feel as though we've got uh, something accomplished, even if we don't get everything done or even if we don't, um, you know, accomplish everything that we set out to. At least we're taking some sort of action at least, you know, and that can really kind of raise your vibration there. So a call to action on something because this is a time for you to blossom and to shine and to grow. Um, this is a timeless reading, so, you know, this can represent things that are still going on in this summer, where um, at the time that I do this reading, we are in about the middle of August, and uh, so this could just be that message for you to make the best of the last the last uh, summer days here, right? We've got, uh, what is it, September 21st, I think, is when um, autumn officially starts, somewhere in and around there. Okay, so get out and have some fun, enjoy life, uh, spend some time outdoors. Um, you know, if you are feeling a little bit out of sorts, right, that harmony energy, perhaps you might need an afternoon off or a day off, something where you can do something that's just for you. But the summer energy here can also represent that there are things blossoming in your life. This is a time of expansion and growth for you. And spirits really want to highlight that for you. Um, if there's things that you want to start, okay, this is a time where you can really create something wonderful. If you want to make some change, a lot of things blossoming in your world here. So, you know, you may also have an expansion of the mind as well, not just um, you know, not just your physical circumstances. So where, where do you see yourself going? Where do you see yourself growing? Um, what do you want to change? What do you want to create? Trust all of your senses. Get the information that you need because you've got this beautiful energy here to accomplish what you set out to accomplish. Let's see what else is coming out here for you. We have weight, 
let George do it. And we have you are our God uh, coming in there also. <clears throat> so these are interesting cards. All right. When we have the weight energy, this can represent a couple of different things. This can represent that there may be something here that you've been waiting for, or you've been waiting for the perfect time. And when we have the summer card here as well, okay, sometimes we need to make something happen for ourselves. Waiting, laying in the winds, you know, uh, not taking action and things. Again, you know, it kind of makes us feel stuck, right? Like, you know, like a tumbleweed without the wind to propel us along. So there may be something here that you've been waiting to do or waiting to change or waiting to accomplish um, for a while, right? We've got this weight card has this hourglass, not an hourglass, but this uh, kind of an hourglassy thing on it, actually, as if we turn it that way. So, you know, again, this is a call to action and that you've waited long enough to do something. You probably know what that is already. All right, it might represent some change. Maybe you want to try something new. This can also indicate that with the weight energy here, that there may be something you're really excited about, but because this summer card has to do with your intellect as well, and we have the weight card there, you could have something that you aspire to, um, but you may not have all the information that you need right now. So you may need to just hold it off for a minute, right? Um, only temporary. Okay. Don't forget to take action as well afterwards. All right. But you may need to take a step back and just examine your circumstances. Look at the big picture and you might need a little bit more information and research that ensures your success. Okay. So sometimes we need to charge ahead with things and we need to just, oh, just take a leap. Right. But other times we do need to take a little bit more of a cautious approach. Now we do have the let George do it. And this is really about let someone else do something. So um, really looking at that harmony uh, energy when I, when I look at this particular card. And it has to do with balance. And so there may really be something that some of you, you know, maybe you're taking on too much responsibility. Are you covering for somebody? Are you taking on someone else's responsibility? Okay. Are you doing everything and someone else is just floating on by, right? This, you know, George person in this particular card is just do, 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 um, you know, not, that doesn't have any responsibilities is just kind of living their best life and wandering along their path. Okay. So there may be something here where, you need to restore some balance in a relationship, in your workplace, okay, where someone else needs to pull their own weight, okay? Someone else needs to take responsibility for their own stuff because it doesn't necess it doesn't do you any good. You're capable here, Libra, okay? You can, you know, you can accomplish whatever it is that you set out to do, but balance, fairness, and equality is very important to you. And if you're not getting it, Okay, it's time to hand something back over. Let someone else take the reins for the while, for a while. Let someone else step up to the plate for a while. Because if you're feeling tired and drained, you know, you're not going to be any good for anybody including yourself, right? We can't stay in that uh in that energy um forever. So someone else needs to take responsibility for their stuff for their life. You can't do it all. But I do also get the energy here that there's spirit is saying that there may be something that you're looking for, whether it's a change, um, whether it's resolving an issue, getting things back on track. Okay. The energy here can certainly be to calm your mind because your intuition may be guiding you forward. Okay. The you are our God energy that is here actually reminds you of, you know, to live your life from the inside out, to let your light shine, to let your intuition guide you, to trust all of your senses, 
okay, all of your physical senses, but all of your other senses as well, okay, your, uh, you know, your visions, your third eye, your intuition, um, you know, watch for sign symbol synchronicities because you are being shown a path and you are being shown a way forward. There's doors opening for you. There's change ahead for you. There's opportunities that are blossoming and coming to fruition in your world and your intuition will really show you which path to take or what action to take that will keep you, um, you know, heading in the right direction. So sometimes we do need to let some th things go and we do need to be a little bit more in the flow. Okay. So for some of you spirits, really giving you some signs of encouragement here. Okay. It's, you know, a little bit more patience may be required, but really trust your intuition and all of your other senses, all that's around you. Pay attention to your dreams. Um, you know, if there may be somebody that can, you know, give you a little bit extra guidance, but really you have everything that you need internally. Pay attention to your feelings. We've got a heart on this card. Okay. Open your heart, pay attention to your feelings, be mindful of your thoughts and feelings as well. Um, cause we only want to attract in positive energy, right? And open really good doors. <clears throat> so when wherever we focus our energy, wherever we put our attention, that is what magnifies and that's what blossoms in our life. So we don't want to focus on the negative. We want to focus on the solutions. We don't want to focus on things we don't want. We want to focus on things we do want. So just be mindful there of your thoughts and your feelings. But I feel here that there may be uh, people in your world that really do look up to you. And they may look up to you with a sense of wonder. You may have a couple that take advantage of you. They may not come across that way, but that's essentially what they're doing, especially if they are not taking responsibility for things. Um, but, you know, and they may really revere you, really look up to you here. But just because you can do everything or just because you're capable at doing everything um, doesn't mean that you should necessarily. But I do feel here that maybe someone has put you up on a pedestal a little bit and this maybe may feel make you feel um, a little bit uncomfortable um, as it should um, because you know it's always a little bit of danger putting people up on a pedestal right it's the knight in shining armor kind of thing and uh, when we do put people up like that and when we do have this knight in shining armor kind of energy people are bound to fall off right? Or human. People are bound to fall off of that pedestal or bound to, you know, get thrown from that horse, okay? Or lose a battle here and there. So you might be a little bit uncomfortable if somebody is kind of viewing you in that light. So there may be something there that you need to do about that. So let's see what else we've got. The Queen of Wands, King of Chalices, Seven of Wands, the Standing Stone, beautiful, and we have the Battle Wagon. Oh, this is nice. Very nice energy coming in here for you. I feel here as though you are about to stand your ground and you're about to take charge. The bottom of the deck, we've got the Wheel of the Year for you, the Wheel of Fortune. The tides are turning for you. Again, just like we see this summer energy, things coming to fruition, you're taking action. Okay. The wheel of the year here is that universal green light. There's changes in the wind, a new cycle for you of expansion, of growth, of creativity. Uh, you've got some really good karma coming back to you. All the good that you've put out in the world, it's starting to flow back to you now. So keep your vibe high, right? Keep your, uh, trust your intuition, but you know, stay positive. We can keep that wheel turning in the right direction for you. So there may be a shift or a sudden turnaround that is coming in for you. Um, you might be a little bit of a surprise in the near future for you and something very positive on your side when we get that wheel of fortune energy there. Okay. But it's a little bit of a faded energy, some destiny at play. And we do have the battle wagon, which is the chariot card coming here for you as well. So there may be some events that you are dealing with or that you will be dealing with in the near future. Energy for this reading will last about four to six weeks after you see it. Um, and so there may be something that you're dealing with in the future, um, but it's something that you may be destined to deal with or resolve or to even start. Okay. Um, and it's something along your path. 
and you know whether it's something that is going to stick around for a long time or maybe just a temporary situation it is all part of your building blocks of your life okay but you really do have some great energy coming in here we've got the standing stone in this particular deck this is the justice card they just labeled it something different so you are making an appearance in your own reading here libra very important and always very significant when that does happen but the queen of wands you know the queen of wands with the king of cups there could be a couple of people that are around you that really do create a great support system for you all right the queen of wands is uh you know queen of wands a very independent person very honest very truthful but full of passion and fire and confidence somebody who is quite often comes across as like a best friend energy someone who has your best interests at heart somebody who um you know maybe can inspire or motivate you in some way but someone who is very independent and someone who is um you know uh doesn't shy away from standing their ground <clears throat> king of cups right could certainly be a significant other uh, it could be a romantic figure a spouse okay or it could just be that these two energies blended in together and we have a very loving friend a loving person in your world okay but you know so whether this is two people maybe they are someone that people that you need to stand your ground with okay especially maybe this king of cups because i already did get a little bit of a spousal energy that's coming in earlier in your reading the king of cups maybe somebody who is really loving and really kind and um you know someone who's an important figure in your world but again maybe they don't um you know maybe they don't pull their weight right maybe they're too interested in having fun okay that king of cups and you know they don't mean to necessarily take advantage of you but perhaps they do in some way okay because the queen of wands could be your energy okay you're confident right you've got a lot of energy a lot of great vibes right and you've got you know um uh a, the kind of the uh i'm i'm a go-getter i'm gonna get everything done uh energy there right but this can also bring out those people that well why should i do anything i'm just gonna live my best life in this king of cups energy and i'll let you do all the responsibility and take on all the work okay but we can also suggest here that um you know and we do have a seven of wands so stand your ground so you may need to put up some healthy boundaries with one or more people in your world okay this can also just be the queen of wands right you exerting some confidence exerting a little bit of authority okay and standing your ground you're in a position of strength and maybe putting up boundaries giving someone else their responsibility back so that you can restore balance in your world you can make a very important decision you can restore some harmony restore some balance and get things back on track Okay, with both the king and the the king of cups there, the king of chalices and that queen of wands energy, they're both in the upright. They're not, you know, malicious or anything like that by the looks of things. Okay, but sometimes we do need to kind of examine our situations or our relationships and make sure that they are um, you know, symbiotic for everybody. But the seven of wands shows whatever you're dealing with, whatever people you're dealing with, whatever issues that you're dealing with and whatever you want to accomplish, you're in a position of strength and power. OK, don't um, don't discount your own abilities, your capabilities, your confidence. The seven of wands shows that you have the ability to rise above any kind of challenges that you're faced with. You have the ability to stand your ground, advocate for yourself, for other people. OK, and, you know, and rise above any kind of issues or challenges that you may be faced with. <clears throat> this can also be a little bit of a waiting energy with the seven of wands. OK, you might be really excited about something and really confident you can get something done. Right. You're really positive. You're uh, feeling good. Um, you're taking the lead. You're taking charge of your own life. Okay, there's something that you really want to get accomplished there. And the seven of wands can certainly show like, hold on a second. Okay, yep, we can get things done. But wait a minute, there's something that we need to turn and face. There's something that we need to see. There's something that we need to deal with first. So it can be like putting on the brakes a little bit with that seven of wands sometimes, right? And so there may just be something here right about in here where you might need to get a little bit more information or you might need to just do a little gut check and make sure that you are um, being objective. 
and that you're making the right decisions because we come back to the justice card here in this deck. It's called the standing stone, right? And we can certainly see standing your ground. We can see, um, you know, we can see uh, the ability here to make a wise decision, to make a good judgment. And when we do that, we look, we take a step back and we weigh up our options, okay? Or we make that decision, but we are taking an unbiased approach at something. You're looking at things practically and logically and what is the best course of action next going forward, right? So you're making a good decision here. But I also feel here that not only do you have, might have an important decision to make, okay, make sure that you're understanding, um, you know, all aspects of your world, whatever is your most important issue at the moment, okay? Um, but I also think here that you have the ability to restore balance in your world and restore some harmony in your world. How you do that, maybe you do need to stand up for yourself. Maybe you do need to overcome a challenge. Maybe you do need to take a step back for a minute and just make sure that you're on the right track, okay? Um, <clears throat> you might even need to put someone in their place a little bit, okay? But I feel in a very healthy way, okay? Um, but once you do figure out things, once you do make a decision, this you can move forward. The battle wagon here is Cancerian energy of the chariot. The chariot brings in victory and success in whatever you put your energy into. This gives you the ability and the energy to overcome obstacles, challenges, and problems in your world, but it's because of the action that you take that leads you on that path to success. When we are in balance, this is where we get that chariot moving. Those horses don't move unless they're headed in the same direction, right? Those horses pull that chariot. And if you've got two horses, I don't know if you've ever had horses, okay? Um, you do need to make sure that you tighten the reins. You do need to make sure that you give the correct commands and that you've got those horses working in unison because otherwise you got one horse going this way, one horse going this way, and you're just not, you're not going anywhere, okay? And when we do get things in alignment, we get our yin and our yang, we get our masculine, our feminine, right? We get our spirit and our physical, everything in alignment, everything in harmony, and we can zip, zip, zip out into the future and we can really get her done and get things moving and shaking when we get that battle wagon energy, when we get that chariot card, right? This is all about confidence, confidence to move forward, confidence to make a decision and roll with it. And this does bring you success, leads you on that path to success. So again, wherever you put your energy, right? We're first, we're assessing our situation. We're looking at things or maybe having an important conversation, making those important decisions. And then once you know what you want or once you know how to resolve something, boom, take an action. There you go. Okay. But again, a little bit of destiny and fate that may be playing a role here for you. Okay. Especially with your own energy, you could just be taking back control of your life. You could just be standing your ground. You may just be doing things that are right for you. You may even be following a dream. Okay. Pay attention to your intuition. When we do get all of this energy, the king of cups here could really be your, uh, heightened intuition for yourself. Okay. You're listening to your heart. You're listening to your intuition. And this is really kind of sparking things for you, right? The king of cups is also taking action or taking the lead on something that you do want to create. Okay. So what do you want to create? Do you want to just make improvements? Do you just need to get things back on track? Okay. Or are you looking for something new? Because if you're looking for something new, this energy is also supportive of that. Whatever you want, with this, uh, with this chariot energy, whatever you want, wherever you have your heart set on, whatever you desire, whatever you're passionate about, you can achieve. We have two sevens out there for you as well. So we do have number 11. 11s are, you know, ones are all about, um, getting something started, new opportunities. 11s is that amplified. Okay, we can certainly um, get things on track. 
Okay, but it's all very action-oriented energy. So unless whatever, if you're making improvements or starting something new, again, I think there's some doors that are opening for you. And this could just be something internal. It may not necessarily be anything external, right? Maybe you're just going through some things and you're just doing a gut check. Right about now, you've, you know, you're making sure that you're still where you want to be in life. Are you still with the right people, the right job, the right situations? Okay, or is there something that you need to change? So let's get uh, last couple messages out here for you. We have compassion. Dearest one, be compassionate towards yourself. Surrender the self-criticism and fear that has you believing you need to improve in order to be worthy. You are perfect just as you are. The only thing that needs to change is your perception. You will come to realize the jewel you are when you love and honor yourself as you are. And your final message here, and we have a prayer card coming in here for you. All right. And so we have dear God, source, universe, angels, guides, help me always to remember that this present life is but a fleeting moment within eternity. Help me always to remember that this life is but a dream. Help me always to remember that you exist within everyone and everything. Help me always to remember that love is all there is and all else is an illusion. Thank you. I'm going to leave that there for you, Libra. I hope there was something here that resonated with you on some level. If so, please don't forget to hit like on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I thank you so very much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.